Love is justice, beloveds. Have letter number 5474. November 19, 2015. Your happiness is your own generosity to yourself. Your happiness comes from within you. The same is true of unhappiness. You are your own bearer of happiness, and so are you your own bearer of unhappiness. You are the hero, and you are the culprit. Don't fault anyone, least of all yourself. Please do not harp on yourself. If you fall off your horse, you are the one who fell. Now you are the one to pick yourself up. There is nothing to rue. There is no blame to accrue. Even if a firecracker went off and scared your horse, there is no one to blame. Remove the word blame from your vocabulary, and how quickly the world, as you see it, recedes and opens up to a vaster window. Be quick to embrace the finicky world. The world, like an accusing teacher, may say, who did this, and this may make you shudder. Oh, the world may be accusing, yet there is no percentage in accusing. Perhaps you looked away for a moment. Not a virtue, yet not a crime. No crime is perpetrated on you or another. All are innocent. Something comes up when it does. Don't keep accusations to you, nor cast them away onto another. It is not for you to replay scenes from the past. Move on to the next scene. Erase the past. It has already gone past. What makes you think of wrongdoing? It is not to anyone's advantage to strew accounts of wrongdoing and make your vision small. Agree that how you respond to the life in the world is up to you. If there is something to take care of, take care of it. Move on to the next page. If you spilled milk, you spilled milk. Wipe it up now. No crime has been committed. Spilling milk is no more than an oversight. Oversights are oversights. No one is to be attacked for an oversight. You are wiser now than you once were. Is this not now a cause for celebration? Who invented stern confronting discipline? Severity is upside down love, not to be practiced on anyone. Until you are perfect, don't demand perfection from others. Practice love instead. Love is a very practical matter. When there is enough love, there is no perceived need for harsh discipline. Love is better and much more practical. Understanding comes from love. Love opens you right up. Love is justice, beloveds. Love one another, and there is no imagined need for justice. There is no need for stinginess of heart. Yes, there is need for generosity of heart. Correction is not wonderful. Correction may bring a sense of powerlessness and resentment. Resentment does not merit being multiplied. Love hits the mark. Love makes everything right, so long as the love is real. Resentment is giving back what you believe you received. Love is not some kind of overdone sentimentality. It could be that love is giving ahead of time. Certainly, love is forgiving. Love goes before time and your immediate stresses and tension. Love does not keep accounts. Love doesn't rectify. Love needs no signed receipt. Love will bounce back and forth on its own. Love loves to love. Love is joy. Rectification is not joy. Coming out right may not resemble what you think right is. Love is not under any duress. Love offers from a free heart. Let hearts be free. Love does not ask, what a fine kettle of fish is this? Love asks, let me be love. May I know nothing but love. Let my love reach near and far. Let my love lift the world. Let my love be a shining sun for all to receive regardless of any agendas. What else is there for you to desire but that which elevates the world? Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org